Okay, so you were given the data points for time. And then what you did is you took your time and you subtracted each interval and got your interval times. All right. From this displacement time chart, in order to make the displacement time graph, you're going to have to simplify your chart over here by taking out the intervals. Okay. And this is just going to help you not have as much data to flip back and forth between. All right. So we're going to create the displacement time graph. All right. I'm just going to scroll over a little bit so I have some space. And I am going to go insert. The dots here are scatter plot. And I'm going to click that. As you see, there's nothing showing up. Okay, because I haven't selected any data, which is fine. All right, we're going to move this over here to the side. Um, actually, we're going to move it right here real quick. Go up to the top, select data. All right, so click on select data. Do not put anything in chart data range. All right, now you have legend entries, which are called series. And the series is going to be each line that is created. All right, so we have to label those first. We have to give it the parameters. So our x axis is the time. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five times and one displacement or one y axis. Okay, so we hit add. The series name is going to be student one. The x value. Don't highlight the word time, but start at 0.00, .00 and scroll all the way down to 13.98. Series Y value, take the number one in the brackets out, leave the equal mark. All right. Then you're going to highlight 0 to 100 and hit OK. Let me pull this over so you can actually see how the um, chart is graphing as we go. Okay, so now we're going to hit add again. We have to add the second series, number two, x value, the time, 0 to 13.01, y value, take out the brackets in the 1, 0 to 100. Hit OK. All right. Let me hit cancel real quick and move this chart out of the way. And actually, I should have hit OK because that just deleted everything that we were doing. So let's go back to select data. Don't put anything in the data range. Add a legend, series name, student one, x value, the times, 0 to 13.98, y value. Our Y value for all five of your lines is going to be the same, 0 to 100. Hit OK. Add number 2, X, 0 to 13.01. Y value, 0 to 100. Hit OK. Add series name student 3, X value, 0 to 12.91, y value 0 to 100, hit OK, add Ben Johnson, x value his time 0 to 9.79, y value 0 to 100, hit OK, add Usain Bolt, x value this time, y value 0 to 100. Okay, and then hit OK. Now we have all five lines on our chart. Now, right now, we don't have anything in our legend, we don't have any of our axis titles or chart titles, so we hit the plus button. We need axis titles. We need a chart title. 
We don't need grid lines. I prefer it as a blank background, to be honest. You could do grid lines. I just prefer a blank background. And you must have a legend. Your legend is what we put in as that first component. So if I go back up here to show you real quick, select data. If we hit edit, just so I can show you, series name, this is the legend. So this is what each one of your lines is going to be called, which will be student one, student two, student three, then Johnson, Usain Bolt. Um, and then if you had a student four, you would put that in there. Um, but the group I'm showing you right now is just three. Hit cancel so we don't mess this up. All right, so this chart title is is the displacement time graph. This x-axis title is time to run 100 meter, and it is done in plus or minus 0.01 seconds. Okay, and I forgot to do that. All right, so time to run the 100 meter in zero plus or minus 0.01 seconds. Okay, this axis title on the y axis is going to be distance or displacement. and it's measured in meters. Okay. And so that would be your displacement time graph. Now what you can do, so it's not just sitting here in the middle of your chart, is you can hit this button up here, move chart, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this chart into a new sheet and I'm going to call it group 2 DT because that's displacement time. Group 2 DT. All right. And then because I'm, I have all the groups in here, I'm going to move it where I want to move it um, so it lines up correctly. And so then when you turn yours in, I'm going to compare my graph to your graph. And hopefully they come out the same.